I decided that I would get a few friends here. This is 600 of the Volandian Banner Knights. I've done so many troop overviews and so many troop armies and there was one that I started with but there was something wrong with it. Now the reason this series is a thing is because I made a video of me just messing about with a ton of cavalry and it did pretty well. It wasn't called how good is cavalry only in Mountain Blade 2 Battle Lord, it was just called cav only and people really liked it but they said one thing, they said why don't you actually test how good these guys are instead of just pissing about with them so I thought hey let's make that into a series. So I'm coming back now and fixing the problem that we had. I'm going to be making an army of cavalry only but moving through the ranks starting with the Vlandian Squire and hopefully ending up with the Vlandian Banner Knights. The reason I'm choosing the Vlandians is because they arguably have some of the best cavalry in the game. So here we have it, we have 10 Vlandian Squires, they're the base cavalry you're going to get when you're starting as the Vlandians and because we're cavalry we couldn't be anyone else but the Rohirrim. The enemy coming up ahead, but off we go, charging into the battle. And here it goes, the first clash between horse and man. These looters are going to be taking a bit of a beating. There's 19 of them. Yes, we are outnumbered, but as many people know, playing Battle Lord, it doesn't matter if you have horses. Okay, so my men are coming round for another attack here. It looks like they're going to be going on in these looters right about now. And in they come, stabbing. Oh, and the man goes flying. Oh, they're throwing rocks at my guys. But I'm not sure if it's going to have any effect. The blood is soaking into the sand as we speak. The rock's thrown, but this guy has a spear coming straight towards his face. And it just misses and goes over. And the sickle hits the horse in the neck. Now that is a shame. But more cavalry are coming in. And they are getting hits on these guys. And there we have it. The retreat for the looters has been called. They have given up. But we have one cavalry man that was just taken out here by a group of looters. It seemed like they managed to get him off his horse and surround him. And when the looters do that, these guys still aren't that good on foot. As you can see, my cavalry have pretty weak armor and still pretty weak weapons. A fantastic job by my men. Just sweeping up the last few and down. Here's the last one. Is that it? Is that the end of the looters? Yes, it is. As you can see, we got one guy wounded, which was that guy that was dismounted. But the rest were just kills on the enemy. Whenever you find a group of looters this big, you just have to take it. Here we are. Now, we're a little bit different this time. Yes, we still have more of these Vlandian squires. In fact, we have about 28 of them. But we have about 5 of the next level up. The Vlandian gallants. These guys, as you can see, are equipped with chainmail, better shields, and better spears. And the charge has been given in go the cavalry into the looter lines and the clash at the beginning and one horse has already been taken out yeah these looters aren't that powerful but remember they have pitchforks and whilst not being able to do a ton of damage the pitchforks act also like spears stopping a horse in its tracks the kill feed not looking too brutal at the moment not many kills have actually been given but one Volandian squire is on his feet and he has been taken out looking from the top of the hill you can see it's, it's not a good situation for my horsemen because the looters have managed to back themselves against a rock meaning we have less space to run about the kills are actually not coming in very well for us we are being taken out because we're just getting stopped by the looters and their longer weapons I have a feeling though if we can pull the looters out into more of the open we might be better off. And another charge straight into the middle lines knocking them off, oh but another Vlandian squire was taken down and if we look at the kill feed we can see that we're taking heavy losses here. Yes granted we have the better men and we have horses, but maybe this is just too many looters to handle. It looks like we may have lost this battle. Well, after that shocking defeat, we have way more gallants, about 30 of them now. And they're going to be charging down the hill towards this pack of looters. This should be easy work. Looking at the kill feed, that first charge was absolutely insane. A few of the looters trying to get away now, but being chased down by my men on horseback. And as you can see, the heaviest spears and shields does wonders when it comes to fighting, not just on horseback, but on foot as well. They're being hunted down now. Oh, he took a spear to the back. Somehow he survived it. But they are properly being hunted down by my men. And in comes another guy. Oh, but he was blocked by his friend. Battle Lord AI for you. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Okay, so we didn't actually lose anyone there. And that was just purely down to our better troops now. But they can be leveled up still. If we look at the troop tree, this is only the second level for my guys. There's many more to come.
And the next level up is the Volandian Knight. These guys have similar armor to the Gellan brothers, but their horses, as you can see, have chain on them. They're much better protected, so they're less likely to go down. We also have maces, so we can do much more blunt damage, meaning prisoners is definitely on the cards at this point throughout the game. And longer lances. We have attacked a party that is way bigger than ours. This is Belathor. He has mostly infantry and ranged, which makes that perfect for an army for me to attack. I'm going to put my guys into the sky in formation, meaning that we'll be able to do more impact when we charge into their front lines. So let's move into there. And they have cavalry incoming, so I'm just going to quickly clear these guys up on my own just so they don't get in the way. Oh no, he went down. He went down very fast. Don't shoot my horse, mate. Come on, you're nearly dead. You're nearly dead. And down they both go. Perfect. Right, Cav. They perched on top of the hill. That's that's kind of clever from them. But I don't think it's going to help them too much. My cavalry moving into position now. They're going to start moving forwards towards the enemy. As you can see at the front there, we have the first of the Volandian Knights with their heavy chain on their horses. Making them do a lot of charge damage. So it's good he is at the front. Oh, and they are forming a circle, but I don't think it's going to work for them too well. They've not formed up just yet, and in come the horses. Thick and fast, the first spears coming into the enemy now. The problem we're going to have here is if we get stuck too much in the middle of all the men, it might prove to be dangerous for my guys, because of course, the more we stay still, the more likely we are to get taken off our horse, and our horse is our, our main protection here. As you can see, we have a man stuck in the middle, and he goes down already. Looking at the chat, we're getting more kills, but they are still picking this off one by one. We can't keep this up because we have way less numbers than they do. We're going to move our men back so we can get another charge in because this sustained combat is not healthy for our cavalry forces. They have done a very good job of holding a circle in order to keep us at bay. It worked very well when we came into the charge and their archers and crossbowmen are pretty safe in the middle of there. It looks like they are sending their cavalry out to face us. Well, there's one thing we can react to that with. And in we go. The horses, oh yes, chasing off their cavalry. Some have split off to go for the home tree, and I just saw someone get taken out by a crossbowman. In goes the clash in the middle again. If we look at the chat, okay, that was a much better charge. Their line was not holding as well, and we managed to get in there. We just need a few more charges to break them through. Once again, a few dead bodies of my men, but we're trying to break through, and slowly but surely we're doing it. Unfortunately, the Empire are known for having good spearmen. Their legionaries are equipped with spears and their manavalatons, of course. While the archers are still firing, they can't really do all that much damage to my men. While they're moving, we've issued the charge. Hopefully, they won't form up in time. This could be absolutely brutal. Oh, they are reforming, but they are not in their circle in time. And in comes the charge, looking at the kill feed. Okay, we're starting to get kills in now. We're breaking through their formations. They have been split up completely now. I think this could be it. You can see the Cav taking them out one by one. There's less and less of them now. They are trying to hold their formation, but the horses just seem to be too much. Seem to be too much breaking up. Yes, we are losing men, but I think we are killing way more than we are losing. Unfortunately, a few of our guys have been taken out by their spears, which isn't great, but we've still managed to get a few guys left to do one final charge. And these men know their doom approaches that comes over. They have a dismounted cataphract, so I'm afraid it may get caught off in the charge. But here we go. The first cavalry charging in and completely smashing through the enemy lines. Their formation once again broken. We are taking hits, but we are doing a great job of killing these guys now. It looks like they've completely broken formation. They've given up trying to stick together now. This could be the time to completely wipe them out. Breaking formation is not what they wanted to do. I don't know if they're running or they're just trying to chase after my men, but this could be the end of them because they are now splitting off from each other. Well, it seems cavalry isn't as effective as we all thought. Yes, granted, we are fighting against a, an army that is almost double our size, but the archers were able to do it. The crossbowmen were able to do it. The horse archers were. And to some extent, the Romans were as well. So as you can see, there are many, many counters to cavalry. We're going to need much more in able to take these guys out, I think. And of course, that is what we have done. A hundred Volandian knights. They're going to be pretty powerful. And let's go up against their big armies. And off they go. Ready to do some damage and avenge their fallen brothers. Stampeding across the land. 
Oh my word, this amount of cavalry has surely got to take out anything that stands in its way. The rumble of who's in the distance of the Empire armies are trying to form up. These were the guys that had the spears to take out my lighter horses, but I think the sheer mass from the charges might prove just to be too much. And in they come now. The first couch lance coming in thick and fast. Is it going to hit? Is it going to find its mark? And yes, it does. The next few coming in now. Okay, here we go. There's a few cavalry that are a bit splintered off, which may take a bit of a beating. But when it comes in on mass, it can only be death. Looking at the kill feed now, it's going absolutely mental. We're getting kills left, right, and center. The cavalry coming in, and they're doing their bit. There's just too many for the infantry to handle. I mean, yes, last time they did a pretty good job, but now with this sheer amount of cavalry, it isn't as possible. The cavalry pulling back to do a, another charge, and in they come. Oh, yes. Their spears doing a great job. Their armor protecting them from those sword stabs. Some are going down, but then others just replace them. We can see the kill feed there. The mass is slowly being pushed back. The Empire seem to somehow turn the tide once again now. The cavalry seem to be great at the beginning, but in sustained combat, they just really can't do anything at the moment. The big groups of men just make it impossible. But I have an idea, because of course, cavalry are great, but when they come up against spearmen, they can be pretty weak. That is one of their vulnerabilities. On horseback, they were getting destroyed, and on foot, they were being destroyed. The last few cavalry trying to do their bit and fight it off. For me, this is quite a shock because, I mean, every time in Mountain Blade Warband, having Swadian Knights, it didn't matter if you had 5, 10, 15, even the Man at Arms, you'd just mow through anyone. But because of the sheer mass of spears on the enemy side, even with an army that is pretty close and similar to mine, we've been completely destroyed and we've only got about 91 kills, which is disgraceful. At the moment in the game, it's not looking good for the cavalry only army. I mean, the archers, I have a resounding yes. The Roman Triarii, a resounding yes. Horse archers, pretty much yeah, and crossbowmen did a great job. But cavalry only? This doesn't look like it's going to be an army worth fielding. But before we make any conclusions, what's next? Well, the Vlandian champion. These guys are a great upgrade from the Vlandian knights. Their one-handed goes to 160. Their pole arm 210 from the previous 150. So maybe these could be the answer. Maybe they are the jump up that we need. They also have much better armor as well, making them less susceptible to the spears of the enemy. Okay, we have 121 Vlandian champions against 125 of their men. The enemy over on the horizon, they are once again taking their place on a hill. They know what's coming for them. They know it's a cavalry force and they need a way to counter that. But boy, is it a big cavalry force. Okay, once again, initial charges can be brutal, but it's about what we're going to be seeing in the sustained combat. We have the sergeants taking over, so the AI normally know what's best for cavalry. I feel like the AI is pretty good at doing the cavalry stuff. Unfortunately, they have a lot of peasants on the front line, and while they're trying to create a circle, is it going to be enough? We're coming now to the charge. The Vlandian champions and their horses are so powerful, just knocking the enemy back now. And in they come, looking at the kill feed now. Not too many kills have come in just yet, but they're starting to rack up a bit. When are we going to see our first loss, I wonder? Okay, this is where it matters, the sustained combat. They once again have longer spears and things, so they're going to be pretty good against my cavalry. I can see two dead bodies of horses already, three in fact. But my Valandian champions still do a good job of keeping casualties on their side. The formation of the enemy has split up to the point where my cavalry is able to just swarm them. When you can see more cavalry bodies than enemy, you know you're doing a great job, especially when the numbers were so similar. And here it goes, the spearmen on the front, which are normally great anti-cavalry, are just being way too swarmed from the back. You can see every time they try and put their spears up to defend, they just get hit over by one of the charges. My cavalry pulling back quickly, as you can see, the kills on the enemy side are starting to rack up a little bit. We need to get another charge in. That initial charge is what gives us our main kills and does the most amount of damage. And the blood and slaughter on the sand at the moment. My cavalry coming back in to do another charge. They haven't properly formed up. They still have a small creep of crossbow run in the middle. But really, they're in such light formations, they're being knocked over. And that is a lot of kills. Look at that kill feed. It is really starting to rack up now. We're really starting to pull these guys down from their formations and make them mush on the sand. And I've got a feeling that morale isn't going to hold for much longer. The sheer fear of horses coming from every direction is going to make them break. These guys have mostly built up of a lot of peasants and footmen who don't have the best morale in the world. Yes, there are a few that are heavier knights and heavier sergeants, but it's not enough. 
Judging by the kill feed, it looks like it's mostly over. We're getting more and more kills, and theirs are going down and down ever quicker. The last few trying to make their escape now, as you can see, we have a one dismounted guy chasing after them. Unfortunately, because my cavalry are meant to be on horseback, they're not going to be very fast on foot. So long, my friends. So long, my friends. You tried so goddamn hard. Oh, watch out. There's a spear coming for your back. It just missed you, Lucky Bugger, but they're going to be coming around pretty soon, and he's being clashed into the middle. And it looks like some of my men can be upgraded to the Vlandian Banner Knight. And this is where it starts to get juicy. This is the highest level for landing. The polearm 280 from 210. They have much better armor. They have much better and heavier horses. But we're not going to be testing them on horseback for the next battle. You all know where this is going. Well, as you expect, it looks like during our sieging phase, we have been attacked. We were trying to get into that castle, but they made a big, big mistake. Oh, the sun shines down as my men charge into battle. Here we go, boys. Here we go. And the clash in the middle, getting a great amount of kills for the first charge. And in they come in for another charge on the enemy. This is going to be brutal. They're not properly in a formation. And all oh, that has got to hurt there. Right in the face. This man tried to do his best. Oh, and he slices the knees of the horse. But is it going to be enough to take him out? Oh, and a horse has gone down already. Let's have another look at the kill feed here. Okay, we're getting kills, but it's not going up so fast. But the rest of the cavalry are coming in. As you can see, they're a bit distant over there. Delegating the command of my cavalry to their sergeant, seeing what they can do. But here comes in another charge into the front of the enemy, doing a fantastic job. Looking at the kill feed, it's really starting to pipe up now. The enemy getting one kill in there, but it's not quite being enough. They seem to just keep getting taken out by my men, and boy, does it look beautiful. The sunset is the perfect backdrop for this slaughter of this Azerai slash Empire faction. Really nothing coming close to this sort of slaughter here. Oh, I have blood on my spear already, and I'm sure many, many others do. Trying to get a couch lance is almost impossible. I say that just as I do it, just because there's so many horses around, and that is one of the weaknesses. It's so hard to get a good run around since the horses just block each other. The cavalry pulling back for another charge, it seems. Giving some time for the enemy to reform, but they're not really taking their chance now. They seem to just be charging after my horses, and that's not going to prove very well for them. As you can see, my men coming back in now very fast with their spears pointed straight towards the faces of these Azerite troops. This just seems to be a place where the Empire likes to hire Azurai, which is unfortunate for them because there's a lot of peasants with a lot of pitchforks against heavy knights in armor. And by the kill feed, you can see it's not working out too well. Few men coming in now. Their numbers are really starting to dwindle. A man goes down in the middle of the battle. More are trying to do their bit. Their spears doing an alright job. Better than some, but not the best. Not enough. And could this be the end of the battle? It looks like they're really starting to dwindle. I wouldn't be surprised if they start to run very soon. But as you can see, it's not all victory. We've still lost 29 men. And really, the battle is not quite over just yet. Trying to get in another charge there. See what damage we can do with the initial. They are charging towards this once again. Not going to be very good for there. But they are starting to pull it back. It's amazing how effective these guys are against my cavalry. Even with numbers of this size, they just seem to be able to take them out in great numbers. Unless you have a cavalry force that is completely overwhelming, it seems a cavalry only army isn't that effective. I decided I would get a few friends here. This is 600 of the Volandian Banner Knights, and that's a few horse archers there. Oh dear. Oh dear. They do have a massive army. It stretches all across the land, but they have really thinned their ranks out, which is not going to be great if we look at the kill feed. In it goes, and the kills coming in left, right, and center. This is what you get for killing my men, and I wasn't very sad. Oh, payback is beautiful. I mean, supposedly there's some Empire men in here, but all I can see are cavalry and a few peasants. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that kill feed. Look at that. Go on, men. Save yourselves. Save yourselves. It will never be enough. I mean, they're trying to do their bit, but honestly, at this point, there's just too many horses. Might I add that we are still outnumbered at this point in the game, but uh, when you just get a sheer amount of horses, I think there's a limit. It starts to be cavalry only, ineffective, 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 ineffective. And then when you get to a certain point, it's incredibly effective. That's how cavalry only is Mountain Blade 2 Battle Lord. It's an interesting one. All the others have been pretty clear cut. This one isn't. 
I would say if you're just having horsemen, the start you're going to have some issues, especially going up against factions like the Empire and the Azerai, who have a, a lot of spearmen. But as it gets later and later on, the more cavalry you get, the more luck you're going to have. But at the end of the day, I would say no. Cavalry only isn't all that good in Mountain Blade 2, Bannerlord. I mean, actually, who's realistically ever going to be able to get this amount of cavalry is not feasible. And this is the amount of cavalry I needed to actually make it work properly. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was a bit different to the other ones, proving my theory wrong, where I thought we'd just be able to swarm them. But maybe you guys can do some more experimenting for me. Is there other types of heavy cavalry that work better than the Valandians, or are they really just not that powerful on their own? Of course, as supporting units, they are great, but as an army, as one, are they really all that powerful? Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a like on the video. But until then, I will see you in the next one.